Welcome back to the show. The Blood Center of Houston, or the Blood Center rather, is one of the largest independent blood centers in our country. Well, they're a partner with 170 healthcare facilities in 26 counties along the Gulf Coast. Here to tell us more about it is Donor Recruitment Director Kevin Shipley. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You know, I know summer tends to be a low donor time. Are we starting to see an increase? I guess there is always, as we say, a need. Yes, absolutely. There's always a demand for blood, but yes, as soon as schools get back in session, our team donors are actually very, very generous donors, and it really helps boost the blood supply as soon as schools get back in session. And how do you how do you make your projections? Because obviously there are times of uh, year when you need more blood, and in the case of a natural disaster like Hurricane Harvey, you definitely need more blood. So how do you how do you project how much blood you're actually going to need? Great question. So with the 170 healthcare institutions that we partner with, we work with them to kind of forecast that what's going to be needed and there is a pretty steady demand for that so throughout the year we're constantly make, needing to make sure that there's a steady inventory with hurricane harvey the big challenge was we were shut down for four days yeah so we didn't have any blood coming in so that was the big challenge but as soon as it was over people showed up and you actually know what how to meet your demand basically and it's about 800 donations a day a day correct so every single day, our goal is to collect about 800 donations from people we partner with in the community. Uh, and that needs to be studied throughout the year. So in the case of like Hurricane Harvey or, or any major natural disaster, we still have to maintain that inventory. And in order to get that inventory, you guys have all kinds of physical locations, brick and mortar locations where people can go in and donate? Absolutely. So we, we make sure we have that supply by two causes. We have 14 uh, centers throughout the Houston area that are neighborhood donor centers. And then every single day, we're going out in the community to business businesses, churches, and schools to host blood drives. And that's something that somebody can organize on their own, right? Absolutely. So each day we're hosting about, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 blood drives a day. Annually, it's about 6,000 blood drives we're coordinating with members of the community. Oh, that's fantastic. It I mean, is. So, okay, so let's say there's an, a local church or an organization and they want to host a blood drive. How, what's the first step in doing that? Absolutely. So uh, we have 20 people that work for the blood center. They're called donor recruitment coordinators. It's an amazing team of people who partner with them, and they'll go through and provide them all the materials they need. It's free of charge, and they'll walk them through the process of, of getting their blood drive coordinated to make sure it's a successful experience. Well, we need the successful experience, and you need the people to come in. So who can be a donor? Absolutely. You have to be 16 years old. Six-year-olds do require parent consent, but 17 and above do not. They can give consent of their own, and they can come on in and donate blood. We do you ask people that are just well and healthy and feeling well for that day to come on out. And are you, when it, when it comes to being a successful drive, is there a specific number of donors? Like if I wanted to host a blood drive, would I have to get a certain number of people to sign up to do it? Yes. So we ask our partners that we do say to pre-schedule their donations. When we partner with somebody, we do try to get them to commit to doing four blood drives a year to schedule their donors and to uh, get a team or a committee together to help with that blood drive. And that scheduling their donors, what we ask for is to shoot for at least 30 people to participate. Obviously, some of those people who are going to come out aren't going to be able to, but uh, 30 is a great number to shoot for. Yeah. It's a great target. And all they need to do is get on their web your website, obviously, to find the information, but that's easy to schedule as well. Absolutely. So uh, at www.giveblood.org, you can actually uh, slash uh, host the drive. You can go in and fill your information, and you'll have one of our donor recruitment coordinators contact you to schedule that and walk you through the process. Well, and it's I think it's such a cool process, too. Channel 2, we've hosted several blood drives. Yeah. And I think if people are a little wary of needles, earlier we talked about this in a segment, um, it's not that bad, no. and you get to sit down and chill and I think even if you are a little afraid it you'll realize it's no big deal and you feel good knowing you helped other people we have the great fortune working in the blood center to meet families like Eden and meet other families that are receiving blood yeah and whenever you start seeing what this is going to we all hear donate blood save a life but when you actually are meeting these families that are impacted Harvey's make big splashes and the sure. news that we hear about those but there is a disaster happening in somebody's life every day 800 of them so we are trying to fulfill that need and when that that seems very small in comparison for a small inconvenience of of a needle uh, you know and you put it into those terms that is so true because right. you know they say it only takes a second to bring you to your knees and so when that phone call happens you want to do what you think is right and this is one way to just make a difference in someone's world that you'll you don't know when that's impacting but making a difference in someone's world in that moment i think is huge it absolutely is well and also by the way none of us knows when we might need 
a blood donation, you know? So that adds yeah. on top of it another reason to donate. Can we quickly, Kevin, talk about some of your healthcare facilities? Because you guys, it's 26 counties along the Gulf Coast, right? Right. And 170 different healthcare facilities. So you partner with these organizations to ensure that they have enough blood when they need it? Is that how it works? Yes, it, it does. So major hospitals and even the small community hospitals and, and ER facilities are the ones who call us and use blood. One of the latest phenomenons is we even have some of the um, um, hospital ambulatory services who are actually using blood and carrying them on life lights and on wow. ambulances to ensure that they can transfuse on site to have better results for the patients who have just been injured. That is super cool. Kevin, thank you so much for everything that you guys do. And um, please tell your colleagues hello and Almost all the partners certainly. who help out and all the volunteers. Thank you as well. In the meantime, if you want to find out how you can support a blood drive, host your own, or learn more about the Blood Center, just visit their website, giveblood.org. Thanks again, Kevin. Thank you. Keep it right here. We'll be right back.